Hello, 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 and welcome to the creative headquarters of Fiber for the People Yarn here on the Taylor Seeking Cozy YouTube channel. My name is Taylor, and I'm going to be your host today. Today I have a little bit of a technique share or tutorial, if you will, on how to perk up your baubles once you've knit them. So on my last episode of the podcast, you'll see that I shared with you my Magnolia Bloom sweater by Camilla Vad, and this is a gorgeous sweater that uses not only lace work in the yoke, but also baubles. And I was talking about how I wanted to make my baubles a little bit more perky, but they've already been knitted. And I asked to see if there was any techniques out there that anybody knew of that could help me perk up my baubles after the fact. It turns out that the lovely Amy Palco of the Meaningful Stitch podcast left a comment with the most helpful technique for this exact thing. And so what I'm sharing with you today comes from Amy. It is completely her recommendation and Amy, thank you so much. I am singing your praises because I have already done this on half of a yoke's worth of baubles and it's amazing. So I'm gonna share with you guys today how to perk up your baubles after they've been knit. Okay, so here we are. I have my sweater here, my Magnolia Bloom sweater here. Now I'm knitting this sweater using um, it's fiber for the people yarn on the merino single DK base and the Surrey silky base held together. This is the Endor colorway. Now the yarn I'm using is not necessarily the best yarn for baubles because it is very soft. Um, there's a little bit of a slipperiness to it so the baubles may not hold as tightly on their own um, where maybe a more rustic yarn would hold a little bit more tightly. Um, so I already kind of have that working against me. And then also too, it might just be the way that I knit baubles. Maybe I'm not the greatest bobble knitter, but um, that's what I have going on. That's what I'm working with here. So as you can see right here, this little section is supposed to have three baubles and it's very difficult to see them because they keep popping to the back of the fabric. Um, uh, in the case of this one right here, it's almost completely in the back of the fabric and then this one here and this one here are really difficult to see. Now on this section, I have already used the technique that I'm going to show you and you can see how these baubles stand nice and perky um, and just look really great. So the technique is very simple. It doesn't require any special tools. I'm going to be using a pencil just to show you, um, just to point things out a little bit here, but otherwise you can just use your fingertips and don't be afraid to sort of manhandle your work a little bit. Now you don't want to tug anything crazy tight, but you don't have to be too afraid of tugging the stitches here as you're going to see in just a moment, because you do need to wrap a loosey goosey stitch around the neck of your bobble to get it to stand out and be nice and perky. And that is what I'm going to show you right now. So let's work on these baubles right here to get them nice and perky to match the other sets on the sweater. So we're going to start with this one right here at the top. So I'm going to have to reach in and just push the bobble through just like that so I can see it and I have it there to work with. Now, what Amy mentioned to me was that there is going to be, when you work a bobble, there is inevitably a loosey goosey stitch to the left of that bobble. And I actually don't remember if she said to the left, but I just noticed the minor to the left. And that stitch is right here. So it's right here to the left of my bobble. It is definitely very loose. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that stitch in between your fingers like this. You're going to twist it. I'm going to twist mine clockwise. And actually, um, I remember now Amy mentioning twisting it counterclockwise. So you can twist it. I, you know, I think I've done most of them clockwise and it doesn't seem to matter too much. So you can give it a twist and once you've twisted it, now you're going to take it and put it right over, just pop it right over your bobble. And then I kind of see like this is where the manhandling part comes in because you're definitely going to have to open it up and get it right over your bobble and then just push your little bobble through. And then once you have that, you're going to take your fabric and just give it a little bit of a tug to get everything set in place. Now this is not only going to perk up your bobble, but it is going to keep it from going to the back side of your fabric. Now I'm going to do it with this one here. This one I'm going to twist clockwise and see if I notice any difference. So again, there's that loose stitch right here. I'm going to just kind of pull it a little bit to get it, um, to make it accessible for me. I'm going to take it Oh, well, I just twisted it counterclockwise. Okay, I'm just gonna twist it clockwise. I really, I don't know if it matters too much. And then I'm going to wrap it. Oh, you know what? I think it does because when I twisted it counterclockwise, it seemed much more snug. So I'm gonna twist it counterclockwise. 
wrap it around my little bobble and then give my fabric a little bit of a, a tug right there. And not only does it tighten up your bobble, but it also kind of tightens up the fabric around the bobble because you're pulling that stitch a little tighter. So now those two bobbles are standing out nice and perky. So let's go ahead and do this last one and see how they look. So I'm gonna pull the bobble and then oops, here we have that loose stitch right there. I'm gonna take it, twist it, and just put it around my bobble. Leave it to the last one to give me to be tricky. Okay, let's see. There we go. Once I've done that, give my fabric a little pull, just like that. And now, and I think too, like, yeah, okay, so it's one of those things you have to just give it a little bit of an adjustment because you might not get the stitch all the way down around the bobble completely. So you want to work it so it's all the way down around the neck of the bobble. And then once you've done that, give your fabric a little bit of a perk like that. And there we go. We have three perky baubles. It's as simple as that. Amy Palco, thank you so much. All right, guys, there you have it. Freshly perked baubles. So simple, so easy. I am absolutely singing Amy Palco's praises. So if you feel so inclined, definitely check out her YouTube channel. She's lovely. Amy, thank you so much for this great advice. I so hope this gives you guys an easy way to go forth with perky baubles. If at any point you found this video useful or you have enjoyed yourself, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Also subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified anytime I upload things new here at the Taylor C and cozy YouTube channel. Until next time, you guys, happy knitting, happy whatever it is you're doing. Be well, and I will see you soon. Bye.